Hello everyone, happy to see you here and in this video we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation x to the first power equal to 9 to the x. What about our x? How can we solve this really interesting problem? This is exponential equation. We have exponent function on the left hand side, on the right hand side, we have different bases, we have different powers. So how can I solve it? Of course, if you have powers, doesn't matter powers, exponents, it's really great to start with, with log. Yeah, so we have solution right here and let's do this. If we have this expression, so x to the first power equal to 9, 9 to the x. If we take natural log on both sides right here, if we go with natural log, for example, natural log x to the first power on the left hand side equal to natural log 9 to the x. Yeah, we just take natural log on both sides. Yeah. Okay, right now we all know that these five jump right here, this x jump right here, and of course that's why we, we do this with log, yeah? We will have like five natural log x equal to x natural log natural log 9. Okay, so from this expression we have this one, which is which is really great. And right now let's try to regroup our elements. Let's try to bring our variables onto from right to left and our constant from left to right. And for this trick I want to divide both sides by x. If we divide both sides by x, from here we can easily cancel this and it appears right here in our denominator. We have 5 to, times natural log x divided by x, yeah, on the left hand side, equal to natural log 9. And right now we still have this constant right here, but we don't need it. So let's divide both sides by these 5. And if we divide both sides by these 5, we have like natural log x divided by x equal to natural log 9 divided by, by 5. Okay, so from this expression we have this one. And that's, right now let's let's try to think a little bit how can we how can we solve it? Because the best, the best way to solve it is to to apply Lambert W function from both sides. Because take a look what I'm going to do right here. Let's write this x, let's write instead of this x, let's write e to the power natural log x. It is completely the same as right here. So let's write instead of x e to the power natural log x. So we have like natural log x divided by e to the power natural log x equal to natural log 9 over over 5. So we have this expression right now. And let's bring our this expression, this one, from our denominator to our numerator. Then we need to put minus right here, yeah? We put minus right here. Let's do this. We will have like natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x minus natural log x equal to natural log 9 over over 5. Okay? Okay, I hope you understand this step, nothing hard I guess. Yeah, just bring this to the numerator to our numerator right here. Okay, right now let's multiply both sides by minus 1. And I'm going to show you why we need to do this. We multiply it right here real quick and I'm going to show you why we need to multiply it. So we have minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 9 over over 5. Yeah? So right now we have this expression and I'm going to explain real quick about Lambert W function because maybe someone don't know about it, about the know about this function. Take a look closely. I try to ex uh, explain you in simply words. Yeah? Take a look closely. If we have expression, looks like that. If we have expression, looks like a times e to the power a. Yeah? So if we have the same expression right here and a power of this a, if we apply Lambert W function from this expression, we have only our a. Yeah? For example, like I hope you understand this step. This one and this one need to be the same. For example, we have like Lambert W function of like, uh, I don't know, like uh, let's go with natural log 9 times e to the power natural log 9. Yeah? If we have this expression, so the same this expression and this one, so this is equal to natural log 9. Yeah? So I hope you understand this with this expression, uh, explanation. I hope you understand about Lambert W function. Yeah? So this is the same and this is the same because there are a lot of really interesting and in other explanation about Lambert W function, but I want to, to, to show you in simple words. This one and this one the same. We need, of course, today to have E and then we have the answer is this a or this a because this is the same. And let's go back to our question. We have, it looks like, I write it right here, the Lambert W function of a times e to the power a. We need to have like the same expression right here and right here. And let's look at our expression. We have the same this expression and the same this one. So it's really good to, to apply Lambert W function right here. So let's apply Lambert W function to this, to this question. Okay, Lambert W function from left hand side, so minus natural log x 
times e to the power minus nature log x equal to Lambert W function of minus nature log 9 over over 5. Okay, we apply Lambert W function on both sides. And as I told before, if you apply Lambert W function according to this case, a times e to the power a, we have only our, only our a, and in our case, this is only our minus nature log x. Minus nature log x. So we have minus nature log x, and on the right hand side, we have this Lambert W function of minus nature log 9 over, over 5. Okay, this is a constant which is really great. This is a constant, some constant, I don't know about this constant or exact value, but in the end of the video I will tell you the exact answer to this question. So this is a constant, which is really great, so we need to find only our x. How can we do this? Let's let's take e on both sides, yeah? If we take e on both sides, we will have like e to the power minus nature log x, so e to the power minus nature log x, equal to e to the power Lambert W function in this point, minus nature log 9 over over 5. Okay, okay, this expression. Right now, this x we can easily bring as a power, as x to the power minus 1 right here, so minus 1 right here, and we can easily cancel nature log with this e. So we have like the next one, we have x to the power minus 1 equal to e to the power e to the power Lambert W function of this expression minus nature log 9 over over 5. And the last step, this is x to the power minus 1. This is, looks like 1 over x, yeah? So if you bring this, we need to, to swap this from our denominator to numerator, yeah? Or in your own way, how, how can you learn it at school? I learned it like that, so I want to show it how can we do this. So our x will be equal to, if you want to to, to cancel this minus, you need to swap numerator and denominator in the, on our right hand side, yeah? So 1 over, 1 over, e to the power Lambert W function right here, and in this point, minus natural log 9 over, over 5. And this is solution to this question. So x equal to e to the power Lambert W function. But as I told before, let's find exact value of this, of this x. Let's find it. First of all, I want to mention one really interesting moment because I find the exact value of this expression. So minus natural log 9 over 5 equal to, approximately equal to, like, minus 0 0.439. And then I plug in these into, into mass library, I wanted to find the exact value of this Lambert W function, and then I find that the Lambert W function in this point, minus 0 0.439, does not exist in real numbers. So this does not exist. We can easily say that this this uh, value of Lambert W function is in imagery, like in imagery number, yeah, complex number, yeah. So right here, no real roots, and of course, if you don't have real roots right here in this part, so if this is like our ima uh, imaginary root, if no real roots, so this this solution is a complex solution, complex, complex solution, and of course. No real num, no real roots right here. No, no real real solutions right here. Only complex, only complex solution, and maybe a lot of complex solution. I don't know about it exactly, but no real roots, and of course, complex solution right here. Let's go step by step real quick. One minute. Let's spend. Let's look at this this problem. So first of all, we need to get in close and closer to Lambert W function. For Lambert W function, you need to have e. Yeah, if you have e, it's really great, then you need to create Lambert W function according to this example, a times e to the power a. Yeah, so same this expression and same this expression. If you had it, you can easily apply Lambert W function, which simplifies a lot this question, because then you don't have e, you don't have like two natural logs, you have only one natural log x. And the end of the video right here, we have exactly value of this expression, but we have no real roots because Lambert W function in this point does not intersect, we don't have like no real uh, real roots right here. This is my solution to this problem, of course, maybe if you have another, if you have notes to this solution, you can easily write it in the comment section, I really appreciate it. 
Thank you for your time and have a great day. If you wanted to learn math, you can easily watch my videos. I have a lot of videos about math, higher mathematics, really interesting brain test right here. So I hope you enhance your math skill right here. I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure. Thank you for your time and have a great day. See you in the next videos. Take care of yourself.